In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Ezoic on your website. Ezoic is a great way to monetize your website through advertising. It's really easy to set up. You've got complete control. And as an added benefit, they've also got a performance improving service called Leap. Because, you know, ads, well, they sometimes can slow down your website. So to counteract that, Ezoic Leap will ensure that you still get a good Google PageSpeed score, even though you're running ads. I'm going to take you through the entire process from signing up with Ezoic to laying out the ads on your website and setting up Ezoic Leap. Another great thing about Ezoic is they no longer have a minimum page view requirement. They did used to. You used to have to have at least 10,000 page views a month, but they've scrapped that now. And if you've got a small site that's got less than 10,000 a month, you can still run Ezoic ads on your website. They do ask though, if you have got a small site that you go through their training program called Access Now, which is not a bad thing. It'll basically teach you all about the platform and how to get the most from your ads. Those of you that remember my old project, bestroofbox.com, you know the site that I sold a few months back. Well, you remember that that site was running Google AdSense and I switched it over to Ezoic and my revenue significantly increased. But anyway, that's enough intro. Let's get on the computer and let's get Ezoic set up. I'm gonna be adding it to my affiliate marketing website, wheelalong.co.uk. So yeah, it's a live site. And if you wanna go check out what the ads look like, head over to wheelalong.co.uk. Links to everything in the description. But anyway, let's go. So first thing you need to do if you haven't done so already is sign up with Ezoic. I'm gonna put a link up now in a card. You'll also find a link in the description. It's an affiliate link, thanks very much if you use it. But yeah, head over to Ezoic and you can get signed up. Now Ezoic used to have a minimum page view requirement. You used to need over 10,000 page views a month in order to be eligible for Ezoic, but now any site is welcome on the platform. Even if you've only got a couple of thousand views a month, that's fine. If you do have less than 10,000 page views a month, you will need to go through a little bit of training, but don't worry, the training's really good. It's called Access Now. It'll take you through everything you need to know about Ezoic and about running ads on your website. So get yourself signed up, and once you've done that, you can then log in. I'm gonna log in right now. Then once you're in, you'll see a page that looks just like this. It's your dashboard. Here you can see everything that's going on with your website, how much you're earning, your core vital scores, although for some reason mine's got question marks. It was working the other day. I'm sure it'll be back soon. So what we need to do now is add our site. Now, of course, I've already got some sites added, but today I'm gonna to be adding Wheel Along, so let's do that. And to do that, you need to come up here and click Add a Site, and then just enter the domain name like this. Oh. There we go. And then click Save. And there we go, that's my site added to the Ezoic platform. The next thing we need to do is integrate the site. And the easiest way to do that is to update our DNS servers. By doing it at the DNS level, we don't have to worry about plugins or adding bits of code to our website. Using DNS just takes care of everything and it allows Ezoic to add the ads wherever they see fit. Of course, you do have some control, which I'm gonna be showing you in a bit. But yeah, it just makes it really easy. So all you need to do is update your DNS servers and you can do that at your domain registrar. Let me show you how. If you click on integrate your site, it shows here, name servers, click view instructions. It shows you what your current name servers are. Mine are set to SiteGround. Wheel Along is still over with SiteGround. Uh, and it says you need to change them to this and to this. So let's do that. So now you need to log into your domain registrar, whoever it may be, maybe it's GoDaddy, maybe it's Namecheap, maybe it's Namester, could be anyone. Now I've got wheelalong.co.uk registered with Namecheap. I've got Namecheap oh, here. Here we go, I'm already logged in. So yeah, you need to log into your domain registrar, you need to go into your domain settings and you need to find the bit that says name servers. Mine's right here. And then we need to drop these in there. So if I click this little copy icon, that's copied it to my clipboard. I can then paste that in, get the next one, copy to clipboard, paste that in. And that's it. Let's uh, save. Oh, hang on, where's the save? 
Oh, of course, that tiny little tick, that's obvious. <laughs> there we go, that's updated. Now this change can take a little while. It can take up to 24 hours maybe. It's often a lot quicker than that. So once you've done that, you're just gonna need to go and make yourself a cup of tea, cup of coffee, get yourself a beverage, sit back, relax, and wait for that change to happen. Once it has happened, go back to the home. We can click here where it says already completed this step and Ezoic will check what's going on. Now I may have done this a little bit too soon, let's see. So there we go, the site looks like it's been integrated, that was really quick. Uh, let's move on to the next step which is setting up some ad testing. Now I'm currently in Firefox but I'm gonna switch over to Google Chrome to do this next part. So here we are, I'm in Google Chrome, and the reason why I've switched to Google Chrome is because I'm gonna be using the Ezoic Chrome extension. So you need to get Google Chrome if you're not running it already. Then do a little Google for the Ezoic Chrome extension. It'll take you to this page, and then you need to click the Install button. I've already got it installed. Once you've got it installed, you can then head over to your website. So let's head over to Wheel Along. Here we are, and then when you click on the extension, I see I've got this little Ezoic icon up here. It'll ask you to log in with your Ezoic details, so let's do that. Here we go, let's click sign in. Oh no, something is broken. Okay, basically what this means is I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I need to wait a bit longer. Even though Ezoic says that the DNS integration is complete, it's not quite complete yet, so. Uh, yeah, let's wait a little while, a couple of hours, and then we'll try this again. So if you're getting that message, it just means that you probably need to wait a little bit longer. Okay, so I think we're all working now. I did wait a couple of hours. I've also found that it helps um, in terms of getting the extension working if you are logged in to Ezoic in a different tab. I don't know why, but it, it helps. So now when we go back to the site and we click on our Ezoic uh, extension, we've got a button that says activate placeholders. Now we can start deciding where we want our ads to go. Now you can let Ezoic put ads on your site kind of automatically, but personally I think they add too many ads. They're way too many ads. I like to keep it fairly subtle. I don't want to um, you know, interrupt my visitors' uh, experience. At the end of the day, my sites are affiliate websites, so that's the kind of core goal. <laughs> with the traffic in terms of, I want them to click on affiliate links and buy some stuff and the ads are a bit of a secondary. So, now this site is already running AdSense as you can see. So, um, I'm gonna put an ad there for sure. And then we might put some ads um, some other places. So basically what you need to do is just kind of click around. I'm only gonna put ads on um, the posts, on the content. I'm not gonna put ads on the homepage or the category pages. So I've clicked through now to one of my posts. So I, oh, there we go, you see it's highlighting areas where we can stick ads. I want one here, obviously, in this advert box. So I think, do I need to click here? If I click here, maybe. I'm just gonna click there. Okay, it's added a little bit higher. Let's click this and move it down. Yeah, there we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'll remove this widget in a moment within uh, the WordPress settings. But yeah, so there it's gonna insert one here. So I'm gonna click insert here um, at its sidebar top, so we know where it is. And then here we can decide the sizes of ad. It's gonna go for just like boxes, which is fine because that's the kind of shape that the sidebar is. And then we've also got skyscrapers too. It's pretty good at um, kind of working out the best sizes for the placements. So let's save that. Okay, there's that one. Now, yeah, I'm gonna remove that within the WordPress settings, although I think Ezoic will remove the AdSense ads. So let's choose where else we could have a nice ad. I'm thinking, could have one, well, we could have one across the top here. Don't know if that'd be too much. Let's have a click. Is that too much? I guess it's really up to you, isn't it? 
Um, that's too much for me. Uh, would like one, I think, um, just here before the table of contents. So let's click there. Mm, I didn't like that spot. Let's try here. Okay, let's move it down. Yeah, there, perfect, that's where I want it. Insert here, we'll say uh, under first paragraph, probably where it is. Um, banner, four, six, eight, yeah, that's fine. I don't know if a leader will fit there. Might do, we'll go with that. What else we got, some boxes, yeah, that's fine. Vertical. I don't think vertical is going to fit, though it doesn't seem to have highlighted this actually, but I don't think vertical will look good there. Let's untick that. Netboard is fine. A mobile leader, largely perfect. So you can see the process. It's really easy to decide where you want your ads. That's looking good. Then we might want one somewhere kind of in the middle of the content, like maybe here somewhere. Okay, didn't like that, didn't like that. Okay, let's try it here. Okay, move it down, perfect. Insert. Um, we're gonna go for in content one, for that one. Banner's fine, leader's fine, I don't know if leader, I don't know how wide my content is, I'm gonna risk that. I don't want the vertical, oh no, verticals on mobile is fine, because the. The article will, of course, be vertical on a mobile. Perfect. And then to finish off, I'm gonna add one at the bottom, like below the content, like above the comments, I think would be a good spot. So let me click the comments. Yeah, beautiful, that's gonna look good. I think ads should try and complement your site, not overwhelm it. Bottom of page is exactly where it is. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All of this is good. Thank you. Job's done. So that's the ads done. Uh, I th yeah, I think that's plenty. Where's that last one? Why is it not showing that last one? How strange. Let me try and add that one again. Maybe you didn't like the position. Just click again. Definitely that one. Insert one more time. I'm probably gonna end up with two. Let's see, uh, let's see. Again, yeah, this, all oh, this was fine, wasn't it? Let's go. Come on, don't fail me. Nope, it doesn't like that position for some reason. Okay, okay, that's fine. We'll have it here then instead. It's not quite as wide here, is it? That's fine. I'm probably gonna end up with about 10 ads at the bottom of the page. If I do, that's fine, I can change it later. Um, let's just do that and I guess it's not selecting that because it doesn't think it fits, but I'm gonna force it. If it kind of sticks out the side of the content, I'll remove it later. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Right, let's turn off edit mode. We're all good. So a couple of final things um, to do. If we go back into Ezoic, let me just refresh this. Got to tick on that now. So now we need to turn on Ezoic. So we click here. Ooh. Okay, it still says pending, pending integration complete. Okay, let's see what it says. Let's click here. Okay, I think it's just gonna take a little bit of time. That's fine. Um, okay, but while we're in here, we've got Ezoic Leap which is this option here. Let me just show you how to get to it. Now, is it leap increase the speed of your website? 
Now before we do that, I'm gonna just log into my WordPress, just disable any caching plugins that I might be running. Oh God. Okay, what are we running? We're running WP Rocket, so I'm just gonna turn that off for a moment because yeah, Leap does not play well with other speed performance type plugins. So we'll just turn that off. Okay. Oh wow, I need to do some updates. Probably do that sometime soon. Um, but for the time being, let's uh, turn off WP Rocket, deactivate, skip and deactivate. That's good. I'm gonna update these plugins. I can't leave it like that. My OCD won't let me. Okay, there we go. All updated. We can sleep well tonight. Perfect. So yeah, is Eric Leap is a great way of increasing your Google PageSpeed score because ads do slow your site down a little bit. It's a fact. Set it up. All you gotta do is click enable. Okay, and then we need to go to um, optimization settings. Set up myself. Uh, okay, we can't get started because uh, yeah, the integration still is pending. I'm just getting ahead of myself. So I think now is a good time for me to actually wait and let the integration finish. And uh, that might take a couple of hours. So uh, I'm gonna get myself a cup of tea and uh, relax until it's all done. The integration is complete. I did give it a whole evening basically waited overnight, it's now the next day and we've got some ticks, we're all integrated. So let's finish off this setup. So uh, we we're gonna sort out Ezoic Leap, weren't we? So let's do that. And let's go to optimization settings. We've now got this button that's available, get started, let's indeed get started. Now I just leave everything on. Uh, I don't mess with any of this advanced stuff. Don't worry about any of that. You'll only need to worry about that if something breaks, which hopefully it won't. Generally, it's been fine. When I've run Leap, just turned it on, no worries. So let's click next. And then we've got this preview button so we can have a look and see um, what the site looks like. I'm thinking I need to be logged out of WordPress, so let's do that. Okay, now we're logged out. Let's, uh, let's preview again. Okay, now it looks better. We've got these little buttons over here. We've got this down here. Let's click through here. Okay, it's gonna build a preview. It says it can take 15 minutes, but generally it's quicker. So let's just wait a few moments. Okay, it took about 60 seconds. Let's view that preview. Everything seems okay. There's the ads. Um, yeah, everything seems to be working. There's some more ads that we added. And there's another ad. I think we put an ad here as well, didn't we? Don't know where that is. I'm sure that'll appear soon. And then there's an ad along the bottom as well, which is all fine. So I, I think we're working. I think we're working. Let's just check this page. Blog page. Okay, that's done, that was even quicker. Let's take a look. So I think we're ready to switch that on. Let's go and click next. Click activate. Now it takes 15 minutes to do its thing, so uh, yeah, we'll just leave that doing its thing. Let's go back to the home and let's turn on Ezoic, that's the actual ads. So here we need to go to update settings, turn it on for desktop, tablet, mobile, you can decide how much traffic, get ads, I'm just gonna crank it to 100. Oh, like that. There we go. We'll leave optimization goals as balanced, that's fine. We've done the name servers, SL is all done. And all this is all good.
Let's just go into monetization. A couple of last things I just want to tell you about. First is you should probably set up a um, ads.txt which is down here. So you just go down and click turn on. And uh, there may be some settings that you need to do. Let me just have a look in manual setup. Um, yeah, basically you can do it over at ads text manager. It's pretty easy. The other thing that you want to do is link your AdSense account. Now, I think mine is already linked, which is why it's not come up. It's here. So you do need an AdSense account. It enables Google then to show ads via Ezoic. So you need to set that up and then you can link it. There'll be an option to link it. It's fairly straightforward. I've already done it, so I can't really show you how to do that. But um, of course, if you get stuck at any point, just leave a comment below this video and I'll do my best to try and help you out or indeed get in touch with Ezoic. They're always very, very helpful. So we've just got to wait for Ezoic Leap to finish doing its thing. And there's also an approval process um, that, that goes on at the Ezoic end. So there may be a delay of a day or two before your ad starts showing on the site. That's just them having a look at your site and approving it and making sure that all is okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wait for this to um, be switched on, the Ezoic Leap, and I'm also gonna wait for my site to be approved. Um, so you know some ads are showing and then we'll take a look at the finished uh, site with the ads and then we'll run it through Google PageSpeed. So I waited a day and I've come back to check the site and we've now got ads showing. So the site has been approved by Ezoic and Ezoic Leap is working. If we take a look at this post, um, you can see we've got the ad up there which is where the AdSense ad was. Remember I'll put a unit there. And then we've got this ad across the bottom. And if we scroll down and look within the content, okay, there's none in that particular bit of content. Obviously, Ezoic decides where to put the ads. You can put the um, the placements on, but you know, Ezoic will use its AI to determine where the best place for ads to go is. So let's scroll down and see if there's any ads in this content. Oh yeah, there we go. We've got an Expedia one there, which is fine. Uh, oh, is that another one? No. And there's a little square ad there. So fairly subtle with the ads there. Let's see if we can look at another post. How about this one, heavy duty wheelbarrows. Um, yep, yeah, we've got the ad there. Ad there. And ad there. It's fine. Um, so it all seems to be working well. The site feels relatively fast. So there's a couple of things you need to be aware of with the site. The first thing is it's running Elementor, the page builder, which is great for putting together some good looking pages, but it does slow the site down a little bit. And secondly, it's on SiteGround hosting, which is not bad hosting, but it's not the fastest. Uh, recently, I think it's actually gone down a little bit in terms of performance, uh, and that's gonna be having an effect. Another thing I need to tell you is I forgot to do a page speed score check before I switched to Ezoic. So yeah, but... <laughs> If we look at the Google PageSpeed scores, this is for a, um, a post. You know, if we even check this post, let's have a look. Do it while I'm recording. It's coming in around 60, 60 odd on mobile, which is acceptable. It's not terrible. Let's see what we get on this one. 64, and on the desktop, Desktop 64 as well. Okay, it was higher earlier. I'm not sure what that's about. This changes every time you do it. Um, so yeah, let's do this one again and just have a look. There's more going on than just the Zoic, that's for sure. Okay, this one is up to 88. But yeah, there's more going on than just the Zoic. If we look down here, the things that are slowing it down, let's have a look. Okay, that's Elementor, ultimate add-ons for Elementor, Elementor, theme, Elementor, something else, Elementor, there we go, AAWP, mainly Elementor. And, well, if you look at my other site, well, one of my other sites, Best Corn Popper, which is on WP Eagle and Spiderweb hosting, super fast hosting. 
which is also running um, popcorn theme, which is a theme that was created by myself, Phil and Carl, which is a super fast theme, very lightweight. This site is also running Ezoic. It's got ads there, it's got ads there. It's, it's got quite a few ads to be fair. Another ad there that hasn't loaded for some reason. Ad there, ad there, lots of ads. If you run this through Google PageSpeed, getting a score of 92 on mobile, 96 on desktop in the green. So it's not just Ezoic, your theme, your hosting, whether you're running page builders, that all has an effect on your Google PageSpeed score. But there we have it. When it comes to speed, you can actually go into your Ezoic dashboard here. It says I'm getting a score of 85 in here actually. That's better. And if you go into speed, and if you go into core vitals, you get some details here. Shows you which pages are the best, which pages are the worst. And then if you go into technologies, it tells you what's slowing down your site. Extreme, it's extremely bad. Number one is Elementor. Easy table of contents, number two. I like easy table of contents, but I guess if it's slowing the site down, I could th find an alternative. If you want to find an alternative, you can click over here and view some alternatives. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, it gives you some other ideas of what might be slowing down your site. But anyway, we're about done. We've set up Ezoic on the site. Um, in my next Wheel Along update, which will be at the end of this month, I will obviously share any earnings that we've generated from Ezoic. So um, keep an eye out for that. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you managed to get Ezoic set up on your website. Let me know how you got on in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you enjoyed this video, if it helps you out in any way, please click the like button, that really does help me out. And be sure to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. But until next time, good luck with your sites. Bye for now.